With the Truco 360 sprayer, you won't need to worry about the spraying angle. You can spray in any direction, 360 degrees. Here are some tips to ensure you achieve the best results. The dual or variable speed control feature lets you manage how fast or slow the material leaves the sprayer. The low setting delivers more control and reduces overspray. Use this setting when first learning to spray or when spraying small items that require more control. Turn the speed control to high when you want to get the job done fast or when spraying large surfaces. With variable speed control models, start at the lowest setting and increase pressure to achieve your desired spraying speed. To reduce overspray, always spray at the lowest speed that results in an acceptable spray pattern. Use a piece of scrap cardboard to practice these basic spraying techniques before you begin spraying a surface. You want to achieve a smooth, even finish for the best finish result. Hold the sprayer 10 to 12 inches from the surface and aim straight at the surface. Tilting the sprayer to direct the spray angle causes an uneven finish. Flex your wrist to keep the sprayer pointed straight at the surface you are spraying. Fanning the sprayer, causing the spray to angle, results in an uneven finish. Always keep in mind that the speed at which you move the sprayer will affect the spray finish. If the spray pattern on the surface is pulsating, you are moving too fast. You should slow down your hand movement or turn the speed control to high. If the material drips, you are moving too slow. Speed up your hand movement to create a consistent, even coverage. Pull the trigger after starting a spray pass. Release the trigger before the end of the spray pass. This will create a nice, fuzzy edge around the entire spray pattern, so your next pass will blend with the previous pass. For best results, the sprayer must be moving when the trigger is pulled and released. Aim the sprayer at the bottom edge of the previous pass, overlapping each spray pass by half. Rotating the spray guard changes the pattern to either the vertical or horizontal orientations. When spraying vertical corners, turn the spray guard to the horizontal orientation and spray directly into the corner. A good spray pattern is evenly distributed as it hits the surface. If tails persist, the material may need to be thinned. Follow the instructions on the back of your material container under Spraying Applications. If you use the 4-inch narrow tip and the 12-inch wide tip in your painting project, make sure to clean the tips when you are finished using them so paint doesn't dry inside of the tip. Following these guidelines will ensure you achieve the best results.